I uh, hope everybody's had a great weekend. Hey, I'm on a shout-out to Hunter First Airborne Command, which are supposed to be on a courier, Major General James C. McConville, Hunter First Airborne Division, Fort Campbell Command, and glances at the crowd assembled to welcome home the Hunter First Airborne Division Command Group from the 12-month deployment to Afghanistan Friday, Friday, McConville served the regional command he was commander while deployed. Welcome home, sir. Now the first airborne command returns to post. We are very blessed with incredible community that supports this division unlike any other place I've been. By Sergeant Grant Mathis, in the first airborne division. Member on the first airborne division command group returned to Fort Campbell Friday following a 12 month. In Afghanistan, it feels great to be home, said Major General James C. McCombo, 101st Airborne Division, and Fort Campbell's commander. We are very blessed with an incredible community that supports the division. Unlike any other place I've seen you saw today, they're all out there in the cold weather. They're always there. They always support us, and they're all, there is truly no better place to serve in the United States Army. The division colors were also... Uncased by McConnell and Command Sergeant Major Alonzo J. Smith, 101st Airborne Division, during a ceremony held immediately after their arrival. The division's colors being uncased signifies the completion of the United Units Overseas mission and their return to garrison operations. I think that the Army and the country is always going to need a highly trained, disciplined, fit air assault force, 101st Airborne Division. A very proud history, McConnell said. It's one of the forces that I always call upon to do the toughest jobs, and I expect it to be that way in the future. Also, in attendance for the seminar was the, under sec the Under Secretary of the Army, Joseph W. Westfall, to support the command group upon their return. The first Airborne Division had a very effective time in Afghanistan, doing some very important work. Westfall said he spoke out to the division's role in helping Afghanistan nation. National Army Guard, their capability to defend their country, and the division was instrumental in the continuous success of the U.S. mission in Afghanistan. And our first airborne division took over regional command East March 14, 2013, and was responsible for 14 of Afghanistan's provinces. I'm very, very proud of what our soldiers did over in Afghanistan. This was a very important time. In the history of Afghanistan, because during the last year, the Afghan security forces took the lead for security of regional command east of the first time. <laughs> during this time, they were fully responsible for security, and during this fighting season, the Afghan security forces believed that they defeated. The enemy and I tend to agree. McConnell said that despite the return of the division headquarters, the soldiers of the 21st are still making an impact with the 2nd Brigade combat team strikes and the 159th Combat Aviation Brigade on the 4th Afghan to Afghanistan. All right, there. I'll make that an photo. Carrying on, I thought I would have soldiers, the Army Chiefs on the side. See here, Brigadier General Mark R. Stammer on the 1st Airborne Division, where I met at the grand opening of the USO at the airport right here in Nashville a while ago. At right amongst command sergeant Major Mark Henderson, senior aviation advisor, presented the Silver Star Medal to Special Shannon Chihuahua's wife, Christian, and daughter Sophia and Annabelle Friday at Liberty Chapel. Right there. Fallen Soldier awarded Silver Star by John. Henry's first brigade combat. See, the Silver Star Medal is the third highest award for valor that for actions taken on the battlefield. During the ceremony held at Liberty Chapel Friday, Special Shannon Chihuahua was recognized 
posthumously for his gallantry in action in Kuna province of Afghanistan when his patrol was ambushed by insurgent forces. Chihuahua, a native of Columbusville, Georgia, was a medic attached to the 1st Battalion, 327th Infantry Regiment, 1st Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division. His unit came under heavy fire and he demonstrated one of the Army's core values by selflessly putting himself in harm's way to save and treat his wounded comrades despite his own wounds, wounds that would even eventually prove fatal. He was honored for his sacrifice Friday with a Silver Star presented to his family at Liberty Chapel. He is survived by his wife, Kristen, and daughter, Sophie and Annabelle. Chua was also awarded the Purple Heart for being wounded in action on August 1st, 2010, and the Combat Medical Badge for performing medical care in the face of the enemy. On behalf of the Chua family, we wanted to honor the way Shannon lived. Kristen. He always wanted to help and be able to say that he helped his fellow soldiers. He would always jokingly brag that he knew how to save lives. Sergeant Zachary R. Gunther, who was a private first class serving with Chihuahuas and is now stationed at Fort Polk, LA, said Chihuahua was one of the best soldiers he knew. Anything that pertained to his job medically, you could ask him. Said Gunther, and he would always give us classes on our downtime. He was outstanding, he cared about us, and he put duty about everything else. Gunther said his death hit the platoon hard, as it was their first casualty during that deployment. Gunther and Shua was the epitome of true definition of what an American hero is. Everything he did was for his soldiers and for his family. You know, you say soldiers squared away, they're a great soldier and they knew their job, but it's hard to really put into words how to dedicate how much he cared for. Everyone in his life, everyone that came across as Gunther said, Shua's family was given the opportunity to visit the division and garrison quarters in the Cone Hall before attending their summary. They were given a tour of the division's atrium, honoring Medal of Honor recipients. Which is special as Chihuahua's name amongst the division walls of fallen years. Next destination was the Shohara Outreach Service Building, where the family was able to hang a picture of special Chihuahua's in the Hall of Remembrance. Brigadier General Mark R. Stammer, acting senior commander for the 101st Airborne Division, presented Chihuahua's wife and daughter with the Silver Star Medal. A Silver Star was also presented to his father, Sebastian Chihuahua, and his mother, Denise Dinkin. He was loved by everyone who met him and Kristen. He never talked much about either, and it's something funny or important to say he was the best person to be around. He never got angry. He was always level-headed. I think that the soldier made him a good soldier and even better combat medic. that. I hope everybody's had a great, looks forward to having a great week. Remember, it's all about teamwork, getting a job done, getting a mission done, what have you, even if you're at a motor pool. Safety, security depends on teamwork. Without teamwork, nobody's going to be able to do anything, not even a sergeant. So we all carry on after all the mission's not done until everybody comes home. Nobody's left behind. Watch your health. That's real. Stay motivated. Stay positive. You'll be alright. Questions, comments, that the chain of command. What they're there for. Don't be afraid to open and use the open door policy. They didn't get there with that rank by themselves. They got educated. They had to motivate themselves. If you want something bad enough, you got to go out there and get it. So the GI Bill is for, especially in the military. Those are not in the military, there's always college, there's always a new door waiting for you. There's no such thing as not going back to school and learning something new. I know 50-year-olds in crutches 
to go back to school and learn something new because they want to learn, experience new things. They already have a degree, I mean PhD. They go back to school, advance in their careers. They obviously didn't even get that far on their own. It doesn't stop in you as yourself. So take that step, take that initiative, even if you have to write it down. Hey, this is what I want to do five years from now. This is what I want to do nine years from now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the first step. Make that phone call. Call that college up, the one that's nationally accredited, and say, hey, we're going online, military.com. They'd be able to square you away with, with what nationally accredited means. Even better, you could go to the Department of Veterans Affairs online dot com. It would go to your right. You see a bunch of links. There's a bunch of tips right there. There's even a VA handbook you can download. Square yourselves away. And say this chief didn't help you. I was around a kid. She doesn't even purse. I got people stopping me in the middle of a BX. Hey, I'm in the army and I'm holding the dang uniform on. I don't plan on doing it all my life. I was needing to come this far. And if you want something bad enough, you gotta take that step, that initiative, because you can't stay in forever. You gotta take make plans. For those that love you, those that sacrifice so much just so you could be where you are if you're married even more. People are sitting there waiting so they could go back to school that halfway part again. God bless y'all all over the world. For sure serving. I hope y'all can those who are serving deployed, I hope y'all get home safe to those that love you. Know that you're not so alone in the world as you thought, especially those looking at this in the barracks. I always tell it like it is. God bless. Some watches.